The ambassador of the Bahamas. Well, that ambassador. It's a good thing. It's certainly an honor. Pleasure. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Hello, you are such a joy. And this is my daughter. Hello there. And her son. So, you and I were born in front of the fireplace on a picture day. Thank you. We're most appreciative of cooperation in this or the drug problem. Mr. President, I'm honored to meet you. Well, I'm your admirer. Well, thank you very much. Pleased to see you. Thank you very much. This is my wife. This is my daughter. She's born here in Washington. Also, she's born here. Well, and we're glad to hear. So you and I will go over and exchange our papers in front of the fireplace. All right, fish. All right, picture. And then you will come in and join us.
present, the ambassador of Portugal. Yes, it's the president. Good to see you again. Nice to see you again. Me so honored for me and a privilege. Uh, I have seen you in Strasbourg before going to Lisbon. When you produce your marvelous speech there, because I'm coming from Strasbourg, exactly. My previous sponsor. Well, you have I think. Ambassador of India. How do you do, Mr. Ambassador? Nice to be here. And Mrs. Call. Hello there. Good to see you. Well, please ahead. You and I are going in front of the fireplace for the full exchange of papers. Then you will join us.
President, the Ambassador of Great Britain. Yes, Ambassador President. Welcome. Great, it's a pleasure. An honor to be here. Wonderful. Please add. Please. In my mind, Mr. Gard, if you have the opportunity to, well, I listen to, well, Majesty, I should say, to Prime Minister Thatcher. I certainly will. They asked me if I needed to say the thing their warmest greetings, both from the Queen and from Mrs. Thatcher, to you personally. And I saw the place just before I came, and they wanted to particularly to give the warmest greetings to you and their affection and despair. So, this is his daughter, Sasha. Yes. Well, we're very, very happy about the relationship that continues between our two countries. It seems to be rather unique in the world. Well, I think it is, Mr. President, and I have to long remain so. And I'll certainly work for that to keep it unique or special or intimate or whatever good adjective one likes to call it by. And I think Mrs. Sasha hopes, of course, to have a chance of seeing you again before too long. Perhaps love to come here before the end of the year, if it suited your schedule. But, um, I know what your schedule is like. But, um, you and I will move in front of the fireplace for a picture of exchange of papers. Then you will join us for a picture. I will point out that that fellow behind you with the painting is a rebel named George Washington. <laughs> 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 All right, Mr. President, can I give you the letters of call that I think it's just a matter of Tell you again of long and pleasure just to be here and attend my country. Well, we're pleased to have you. We hope your stay will be, be very pleasant. I've had a wonderful welcome and I'm sure I'm sure I will. I just uh, think we'll talk to some people here this earlier today and I was telling them about the experience with your Prime Minister at the Economic Summit when we held it in Williamsburg. And the first meeting is always a dinner the night before the regular meeting starts at the seventh heads of state. So I was all prepared for the market. And as everything quieted down at the table, beginning of the dinner, I was going to say, and did say partly, I said, uh, Margaret, if your predecessor, one of your predecessors had been a little more clever, and she interrupted me and said, yes, I know I would have been hosting this gathering. <laughs> <laughs> Which was what I was going to say. <laughs> My daughter and I were in Williamsburg last weekend. So oh. I've seen, I had been there before, but uh, we had a happy weekend down there. It's a wonderful place. Now, would you be a nice <laughs> picture if you were in the middle? <laughs>